We got a cool story. Oh, we got a great story coming up. Yeah. Every month we feature an East Tennessee Children's Hospital ambassador, and this month we have one from right here in Kodak. An 11 year old girl, Kaylee Collins, when she was three years old, diagnosed with a rare yeah. form of stomach cancer, but spent a year in and out of Children's Hospital working for the folks there. Here's her story. Kizzy, come turn around. Kaylee Collins is a healthy and active 11 year old from Sevier County who loves to ride her bike. I really like riding my bike at home because we have this big yard, so we ride up and down all the hills and stuff. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like extreme bike riding. But when she was just four years old, her parents and pediatrician were baffled by her on-again, off-again stomach pains. And they would do x-rays, they would do blood tests, and they never could figure out what was wrong because one minute she's, you know, riling and crying in pain, and the next minute she's fine. And one day she was bent double over in the backyard throwing up and we called the pediatrician he said you need to get to children's now the staff at east tennessee children's hospital quickly confirmed the source of kaylee's stomach pain they found that it was a, a tumor in her abdomen that wound up being confirmed as burkitt's lymphoma a rare type of pediatric cancer the collins family had no choice but to place their trust in the doctors at children's hospital you can hug them and love them and tell them it's going to be okay and you know when you say that you're lying to them um, because you don't know it's going to be okay. So all you do is, you know, put your trust in the doctors and put your trust in the Lord and pray. The staff became like family as Kaylee endured almost a year of inpatient treatments. It's a whole world of unknown, so, you know, without the loving care of the, the staff, you know, the, the place wouldn't exist. And then I had a favorite nurse, too, and her name was Miss Brittany. She was always one to come visit me, eat, like, on her lunch break or something. You know, she was always one to come visit me when she wasn't busy, so she was really nice to me. Now, cancer-free for the last six years, Kaylee is free to ride and play like a normal kid. By the way, that, uh, that our reporter, Peter Simeone, on that, uh, neat story. It's a great story. Yeah. Six years cancer-free, good for her. Cancer should leave kids alone. Uh, cancer should leave everybody alone. Uh, the uh, 